the two horizontal sections are indicated here. In each case, time passes, but his distance from home does not change. The horizontal lines on the graph mean that Jason is not traveling at all. The change in time is three minutes in the first time, but his change in distance is zero kilometers. So his rate of change here, or rise over run, is given by the change in distance over the change in time, zero over three. So his rate of change is zero. That's equivalent to his speed. In the second section, his change in time is two minutes. And again, his change in distance is zero kilometers. If we go ahead and calculate his rate of change again, using rise over run, distance over time, we have zero over two. Again, his rate of change is zero kilometers per minute. So his rate of change is zero. So in this situation, his rate of change represents his speed. For both of those sections where the line is flat, he has no change in distance. He has no speed. Trip to the Mini Mart continued. What is Jason's rate of change, or speed, during the first part of the trip? Remember the formula for rate of change. Give it a shot and come back and see what we've